Okay, so how you do feel the feelings is um, you just uh, sit down. It's best to sit down with your back straight um, because otherwise, um, you know, the ego can take you off into trying to take a nap or something. <laughs> uh, and uh, which is okay if you want to take a nap, but it's not feeling the feelings. Feeling the feelings is not taking a nap. But uh, <laughs> what the feelings were inside? <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's actually I think I'm that's probably so. no, no, no. That's actually a good question because you can feel the tiredness out as well. Mm -hmm. I think uh, yeah. For today, let, let's say um, so. What you, one sees what is what are the emotions or what are the sensations that are being experienced? Usually, the sensations, the emotions are being experienced in the body, or it appears that they are being experienced in the body. So let's say someone is experiencing tiredness or something. So you sit down and then um, you disengage from making a story. Disengage from like making a story about the tiredness or thinking or going off into fantasy or future or past. Just cutting yourself. If you're going off into thought, detach from the thoughts and just go to just allowing yourself to, let's say, experience the tiredness or it could be another individual fear could be anxiousness in another individual. And what you're doing is, it's a, it's a consciousness, you're consciously experiencing the sensations. And if you go into thinking, detach from the thinking, go back to just experiencing the emotion. So this is kind of like fully allowing oneself to fully experience the emotion without the distraction of thoughts, or trying to minimize the distraction to going into thoughts by allowing oneself just to be purely present to the emotion. Now normally one will try, the, you know, the thoughts will start to pop up again. As soon as you start to notice yourself going off into a story or a thought or a sentence, detach and just allow yourself to experience the sensation. So let's say there was, a, let's pretend there was a, an experience of tiredness in the body. What you're in essence trying to do, you're not trying to think this, but you're just trying to feel the tiredness out as if it was an energy, which if you just feel it out, it will be felt and then it will pass. And that tiredness will then pass away, leaving just the, the presence. So you've, Or if there was fear there, you'd just be experiencing the energy of the emotion until it passes away, uh, without trying to go to sleep or, or not try and feel it out. So the other thing to realize is to take it to a more advanced level, as you start to feel out the sensation, you're not even trying to put a label on it, like tiredness is a label, you don't even need to put the label on it, or fear is a label. Also you might even get ideas that the tiredness is in the body or the fear is in the stomach, you can even let go of that labelling. So as you let go of the labelling of location or what type of energy you're feeling, it'll just, it'll eventually start to become more and more diffuse and it will eventually start to fade away. Again, there will be a tendency to distract into thinking rather than feeling. So as you